The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is easily one of the best games on the Switch, so it made a lot of sense for there to be a sequel at some point. While Tears of the Kingdom is a pretty good game, it still falls far below what I would expect from a sequel. For starters, the game has less of a cel-shaded look, as many portions have more realistic lighting. This is paired with there being a lot of environmental effects like rain and fog that are constantly occurring. As a result, the visibility is poor and I end up falling off of cliffs and paragliding into rivers. Weirdly enough, you can see perfectly fine in the areas that take place in the sky since they're just above the clouds so rain isn't an issue. My second major complaint is that the game feels a lot less open than Breath of the Wild did. This slows the game down to a crawl as even the tutorial area is a literal maze of mountains, rivers, and pitfalls, with only one way to get from point A to point B. And my final complaint is the difficulty, which has been cranked up quite a bit by the weapons having low durability, wild food sources being nearly non-existent, and towns being very few and far between. Well, that's the majority of what I can't stand about this game. Now for what it actually brings to the table. I love how the game's cutscenes look, which is a bit better than the in-game graphics. I also love the feeling when you get launched from one of the towers into the air. It's almost like some sort of weird reverse bungee jumping. The new building system is also pretty cool because it requires you to complete some pretty challenging physics-based puzzles in the environment. Other than the things I previously mentioned, it's mostly still just Breath of the Wild at its core. It honestly just feels like I'm playing the game on a higher difficulty setting and with some sort of cave and flying island DLC. All the assets are the same as the original game for the most part. I feel like it really doesn't justify paying another $60 just for the new mechanics and harder difficulty. I'd suggest just playing Breath of the Wild again for most people. However, for those of you who somehow went everywhere, got every collectible, and completed every quest in the game, then Tears of the Kingdom is for you. It definitely won't win over anyone looking for something new, but it will satisfy those who want more Breath of the Wild. I give this game a 7 out of 10.